Now this, the Democrat-controlled House could take action to make health care more affordable. And our next guest says that might involve using robots and certainly automation to do doctors' jobs. Bill Studebaker is with us, Robo Global <laughs> President. All right, Bill, uh, have I got this right? Um, because the Democrats take the House, we may see robots doing surgery. Make your case. Well, thanks, George. Listen, I don't think it matters who controls the House. What's important here is that health care is changing and has to change. As you have documented, health care costs are unsustainable. It's 20 percent of our GDP. Um, the idea of now bringing in robots and AI is allowing us to apply precision and soon-to-be preventive medicine. Kids that are born now are not going to live until they're 79, 80 years old. Try 100. Try 120. We've now got technologies that not just, you know, arrest the signs of aging, but reverse it. So it's a really exciting time to be focusing on health care. The, would the robot be liable if something went wrong? I mean, if you, a doctor performs a surgery, if something goes wrong and it's his or her fault, they, you sue and you, they're liable. What about a robot? Listen, the biggest problem is human errors. I mean, I, I, it was um, a recent study I read. Uh, John Hopkins stated that the third leading cause of death in the United States is misdiagnosis. That's basically human error. And so when you think about it, a robot that can operate with submillimeter accuracy, that means, you know, lower costs, better patient outcomes, uh, a better service for the customer. Um, well, and I think are we that's that what you're seeing. Yet? Are, are we there yet? I mean, do you have some kind of robotics that can do an operation with absolute precision? Definitely. I mean, look at companies like Intuitive Surgical. The company was factory founded in 2003, um, just sold 200 and I believe 80 uh, um, systems last quarter. Their procedure growth is up 20 percent. Again, what this is allowing doctors to do is to do a non-invasive surgery. You know, it's, it's just a fact that that uh, robots are more precise than human beings. I mean, think about a person that's 65 years old. Is it the peak of his game or hers in terms of number of procedures performed, but that person may not have very good dexterity at age 65, 70, um, and using a robot or telematically operating a robot, you now have the ability to utilize your knowledge and the robot's precision. And so when you've got that capability, I think that um, we're going much higher in terms of penetration rates, and we should. I find this fascinating, Bill, and I appreciate you being with us this morning. You've opened up something which I did not realize, and we appreciate that. Bill Studebaker, thank you, thank you sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.